On this episode of What's Up With CE, we go into what's the best advice I've received from some of my mentors and coaches over the last 25 years. I've had some marvelous coaches and mentors over the years. Um, if you know my story, I started back in uh, real estate in 1995. That could be a long time for a lot of people. For the people that are my age or a little bit older, that's not so long ago, right? So um, I've had over the period of that years, I've had five coaches and mentors that have been amazing. Each, every one of them added some sort of value and some sort of inspiration. And I wouldn't be where I am today without having you know the coaches or mentors to guide me. Um, you know, there's an old saying, it's hard to see the picture when you're in the frame. But one mentor I really want to talk to in particular, um, who I'd met earlier in my career when I started in real estate back in 95, uh, was a wonderful gentleman by the name of Dr. Fred Gross. And uh, huge inspiration. And um, you know, one of the things that I really got from Dr. Fred was understanding that how do you honor your soul? You know, what are the things that, you know, give you the joy and happiness every day? And one of the things that I've learned over the time is, you know, you need to look after yourself first and look after this. And this is not about being selfish, but what are some of the little things that um, actually give you that joy and that little bit of happiness each day? So he talks about tens, he talks about 25s, 50s and 100s. And if you've been coached by Dr. Fred, uh, before you'd know exactly where I'm going with this. But if you haven't, um, I'd love to give you my take because still to this day, and I started with Dr. Fred back in 1998, and I worked with him for four years till 2002, I still apply the 10s, the 25s, the 50s and 100s. And just to take a moment and think about, if you really want to let your soul sing, think about some of the things that give you the joy on a weekly or daily basis, because that's what a 10 is. And I'll give you some of my tens. Um, I love having a double espresso every day. I just love my coffee. And if I'm not having two to three a day, my heart is not singing <laughs> and I'm not happy. You don't want to be around me when I haven't had a double espresso. So that's a 10. And I have one in the morning and then I have one in mid morning and then I'll have one in the afternoon. But that's me being aligned and honoring my soul. I don't know, I heard an old saying, may not be great for you, but a great saying was, you know, if you're gonna die, die happy. So I'm gonna die happy if I have too many espressos. But that's one. Um, another 10 for me is getting to the gym five times a week. Um, again, I just feel I'm not aligned with my soul if I'm not getting to the gym four or five times a week. Um, another 10 for me is Friday nights are super special for me. now. I'm not Jewish, but one of the things I love about the Jewish religion is the families all congregate together around the dinner table on a Friday night. Um, I do that, I'm not Jewish like I said, but I love getting our family together on a Friday night. We may get some takeout. Um, I know for a fact that tonight my wife's gonna do a beautiful fish stir fry. Um, it could be eating in, but it's the one night of the week where the whole family's together. My three children, my wife, but that to me is like a 10. Um, and another 10, just for another one, just to give you an example, is on a Sunday. We go and have a hit of tennis, uh, we finish that, and then we basically go to the local cafe on a Sunday and I have my bacon and egg roll, it's my cheat day, yes. Have my double espresso, and it's awesome. So start writing down for yourself, what are some of the things that you like doing either daily or weekly that help you? Then we talk about 25s. Now, 25s, I remember Dr. Fred saying to me, Claudia, these are the sort of things that you do maybe twice a month or, or once a month. And I was like going, yeah, all right. So what are the things that make my soul sing, make me feel happy? I love getting one massage a month. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I sometimes do quite a bit of driving and I, I just love someone getting into my lower back and one massage a month just makes me feel like, yes, I'm alive and I'm singing. Again, honoring my soul. Um, a 25 once a month is Lucy, my wife and I, having a dinner, not somewhere special. It could be just like the local pizza place, but it's just her and I without the children, where we have our sanity, right? And it's just once a month. Um, you know, there's an old saying that, you know, everything in life is an effort. If you want your relationship to work, you've got to make an effort. But if you don't put the time aside, you start to drift apart. And that's why people tend to drift apart because they don't make an effort. So put down maybe a 25 with you and your family or your partner, then things that you could be doing. 
So 25 is the things that you do once or twice a month. A 50, wow, love 50s. Um, 50 is the things that you do just once a year. Um, for me, a 50 uh, is one coming up shortly in September. It's my mother's birthday um, and you know, She's never been there. I've been there a couple of times, but it's one of my favorite restaurants is a place called Cafe Sydney. So it's a place I wouldn't go all the time, but I might do it once this year and that will be with my mother. And it's special. And that's called something that you do that's a 50. But it's more about seeing her reaction, her emotions, and seeing her spending that time together that we have. And another 50 might be a wonderful holiday that you've got planned for you and the family. Um, you know, during the year. We just had one recently in Cairns with the kids and I've got to tell you that for those two weeks, it was just amazing in terms of the time that we spent. And the 10s, the 25s and the 50s are literally sometimes, yes, honoring the soul, but also creating those memorable moments with your loved ones, yeah? Then the final one, which is the biggie, we call it hundreds. And Freddie called hundreds things that you've got on your bucket list that you probably do once in your lifetime. And I've got a couple and they could be happening like in a year, it could happen in three years or it could happen in 25 years. But your hundred is the one thing that you do over, you know, once in your lifetime. And let me just share a couple that I've got. I've got one coming up in about two years time. Uh, my son at the time will be 16 years of age and I want my son and I to walk the Kokoda Trail. I don't know, just him and I, a bit of bonding session, but also to understand what the diggers went through at the time, learn a bit of history, um, but just him and I, that's it. No one else. That to me is like a hundred. Um, I really want to do something in the next three to four years with my daughter. Um, you know, she's done her bronze medallion at Duke of Ed for school. She's done silver, Duke of Ember award, and now she's going for her gold. So they do a little bit of hiking and so forth. And I really want my daughter, my eldest one, Isabella and I to, uh, do Mount Kilimanjaro. Just climb it. I mean, again, once in a lifetime opportunity, her and I to do it, because eventually she'll get old, I'll get old, and I probably won't be able to walk the mountain, and she'll probably have kids, and you know, who knows what can happen, but you've got to look at these opportunities, these hundreds that you can do now, well, you can. So that to me is a hundred. And then I asked my youngest daughter, Sophia, and she's like, Dad, that sounds like really hard work, all of those. Can we just go to the Maldives? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> maybe we'll do that one, who knows? But that's what a hundred is. It's these little things that you love doing. Um, I remember doing a hundred with my father back in about 2002. Um, he came here with like less than $20 in his pocket, 1970. And to be quite honest with you, um, in 32 odd years had never been back to the homeland or saw his actual mother or his brothers and sisters and about six siblings there and to be quite honest with you um, I felt like this was something that he needed to do so in 2002 we head over to Chile um, just before Christmas just picture it hadn't seen his mother in 32 years since he left the homeland to come here and basically literally hadn't seen his brother or sisters in that time um, typical walk story just work 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 right and in 2002, we, we get over there and um, Christmas Eve, um, that's when we celebrate Christmas is Christmas Eve, not so much Christmas Day, but Christmas Eve. We get him to my uncle's house where his mother is and everyone else. And you know, you can just imagine there's like 60, 70 people, but no one knows that he's gonna show up. No one knows. He knocks on the door. I spoke to my auntie a few days before to make sure that she opens the door. She opens, Grandmother opens the door, he's standing there. And I don't know, but just picture it. 32 odd years not seeing each other face to face. Man, still brings sort of tingles and shivers down my spine. And I was there to witness that. And then the brothers and sisters come around and they're all hugging. Christmas day, 32 years, not seeing each other. Um, that to me is a hundred. I don't know, what sort of hundreds can you maybe write down for yourself? because I think one of the greatest gifts that I got was from Dr. Fred Gross, understanding the tens in my life, the 25s, the 50s and the hundreds, because it's those little joys that you have in your life. And I mean, I can share so many that I've created, but more importantly, I feel complete at this time in my life 
meaning that, you know, touch wood, there's a park bench right next to me that is to get hit by a car, I can really feel that I loved, I mattered, I really lived a fulfilled life. And when you start writing these little things down and whenever you feel maybe, I don't know, you've got to bring the joy or the happiness back in your life, treat yourself to a 10 or treat yourself to a 25 and you can change your state like that because that's all about honouring your soul. Thank you, Dr. Fred Gross.